In this video, guys, I'm calling AT205 yes and radiator stop leak products no. So, as you guys have probably seen in my other videos, I am a huge proponent of AT205 Reseal. I feel like it's the best product of its kind on the market. And in the right situation where you have a seal or a gasket that has just kind of shrunk a little bit over time, this is a great product. Now, if you have a torn gasket or a damaged seal, this is not the product to use. But in most situations, AT205 will stop minor leaks. And that can be huge because, for example, if you have an oil pan and it has a minor leak out of it, um, especially if you've switched to full synthetic oil, then um, you could find yourself in a situation where the cross member keeps you from being able to remove the oil pan to change the gasket. So you really have no choice. In other words, you're talking about a major, major repair of removing the cross member on your vehicle, trying to get to the oil pan, to remove the oil pan, to replace just the gasket. That's a huge repair. So you can, instead, you could use a little AT205, and it may correct the problem for three years, five years, or permanently. So AT205, excellent. However, I want to talk about these radiator stop leak products. And I'm not picking on bars or any other company that makes these. I think they make a sincere attempt at trying to give you a product that will stop your radiator leak. But my problem is all radiator stop leak products go in the wrong direction. And I'm going to tell you why. If you have a radiator leak or if you have a coolant leak, somewhere coolant is coming out of your system, okay? What you need to do is you need to find why it's coming out, where it's coming out, and you need to repair or replace that item. So if it's coming out of the radiator, like, you know, a lot of radiators now are plastic, plastic slash aluminum. You know, if you've got a crack in your plastic after eight years and 100,000 miles, then you know what? Put in a new radiator. Um, if it's a hose that's sprung a leak, put in new hoses. If it's, some, if it's out of some other area, then you have to deal with that area. And the reason is because in general, radiators are not a huge expense, okay? It's not really that big a deal to replace a radiator. I've had re radiators replaced in many of my vehicles over the years. And especially if you go the aftermarket route, you know, you can get a quality radiator a lot of times for, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 bucks, okay? It's just not a big deal in the big picture. Also, these stop leak products, they tend to clog up your radiator in areas you don't want it clogged up, and they can even do things like damage your heater core. So your heater is not going to work correctly because it's partially clogged up because of the radiator stop leak product that you put into the system. So... For this video, I really want to just advise all of you to stay away from the stop leak, radiator stop leak products. Well, some people may say, well, Tom, I think I have a blown head gasket, so I just thought I'd give this radiator stop leak stuff a try. The reality is if you have a blown head gasket, you probably, you probably should think about getting rid of that car. If you want to replace the head gasket yourself, go ahead and take a shot at it. I'm not stopping you from doing that. But I will say that when you have a head gasket issue, you're talking about now taking off a lot of stuff to get to the head gasket. And even then, you might have some warpage on the cylinder head. And you're just, you know, you're in a situation where you may just want to get rid of that car altogether if you really have a head gasket issue. Generally, a stop leak product isn't going isn't to last on a head gas gasket issue. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of warn you guys about this stuff and give you my perspective. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.